Hi, my name is Rob Barrett, and you're watching Cooking for Dads. Today, we're going to talk about grilling steaks. Now, in Minnesota, we have some unique, obviously, environmental challenges that you may not, so we're going to talk about how to overcome that. But even if you're in a warm area, here's some great tips on how to grill a steak. These are two different kinds of steaks that I like to grill a lot. First, you have your basic New York strip. This is about $5.50 a pound, and it's got nice marbling. But if you want a cheaper meat that's really got a lot of flavor, this is called a chuck eye steak. We make it all the time. Look at the nice marbling in there. You have a couple things you have to cut around when you eat it, but it's about $3.50 a pound and has just incredible flavor. Not the chuck eye roast, just the chuck eye steak. First thing we're gonna do is sprinkle our meat with kosher salt. Then we're gonna hit it with some fresh ground pepper. Use a lot of pepper. It brings up the bitterness and the flavor, which is a good thing. Press that down and then do the other side. Let it rest like this for four or five minutes. You can also use a steak seasoning or steak rub if you want like this Byerly Signature Beef. I'd use it quite a bit, but if you have really good meat, there's nothing more you need than a little salt and pepper. Okay, in Minnesota, the first thing we have to do is shovel the path to our grill. Minus seven today, so if my mouth gets a little frozen, you're gonna have to bear with me. We're gonna light the grill, then brush it, and later on we're gonna put some oil on it. Close the lid, let it heat up to at least 400 degrees. So we got two feet of snow the other night, which makes grilling a little bit more complicated. For instance, where do you put your steaks while you're waiting for your grill to warm up? All right, it's 400 degrees, we're ready to go. Now if you're like me, my grill started to develop hot spots. So this spot is twice as hot as this. So we're gonna kind of pick the middle area for these steaks. I'm gonna put these down, right in the middle. Then we're gonna close the lid for three minutes. You don't let any of this hot air escape because it's minus seven out here. So close the lid, let it go, set your timer for three minutes. All right, our three minutes is up. We're gonna flip them over. If you want, you can do a little quarter turn in the middle. You know, I'm not all that fancy about that stuff. These chuck guys are really good, but they do tend to fall apart on you. So watch that. Flip this little guy over. We're gonna pull this one a little bit quicker. This is a little thinner steak. This is a little bit thicker one. So watch it. In about two and a half minutes, we're gonna pull this. In about three minutes, we're gonna pull this. To tell if your steak is done, you can use a meat thermometer if you want, but I still like using the hand method. So you take your hand, you take your thumb and your pointer finger, put them together, push on it. That's what a rare steak feels like. The next finger, that's what a medium rare steak feels like. Next one, medium well. And your final finger, that's what a well done steak feels like. So if you come over here and push on our steaks, for instance, see that's still pretty rare. That's much more like this than like that. I like them medium rare, so I'm looking for something that's about that squishy, which these are not. Give them another minute, and we'll test them again. For a little added treat, with a minute left to go, we're gonna put some butter on our steaks. You've heard of butter burgers. These will be butter steaks. Just a little pad on your meat. Spread that around if you want. But this really makes it good. You must trust me. All right, I'm gonna pull this one off. This one's a little bit thinner. About the same, we're gonna pull that off. Turn off our grill. That is how I like them. Cook them a little bit longer if you want.
So that's how to grill a steak, even here in Minnesota where it's minus seven degrees. I'm Rob Barrett, you're watching Cooking for Dads. Cook well, it is worth it. Chopping and chewing makes it appear I know what I'm doing. My kids are happy, my wife's filled with cheer. No PB and J. Now dad is a hero. Cooking's not so bad. Now there's cooking for dad. Woo! Yeah. Good job. This is cooking for dad's wrap right there. Yikes, that's cold. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Whew.